the whole medical educational system, the whole medical economic system, what doctors are paid for, is all skewered to do the wrong things. It is not skewered to help, to, uh, to help focus attention on preventive health of any kind. I was struck with this as a, as a physician in training. The only incentives I had uh, was whatever extra time I cared to talk to the patient, certainly non-reimbursable. And that's a problem. We're, we're drawn apart from people with uh, reimbursement systems. We're paid uh, by procedures. So I was frustrated with, with the talking to uh, people, 50, 60-year-old people with lung cancer, about telling them to quit smoking. We'll try out some methods of uh, working with smokers and see how we do. Many medical schools are beginning to offer programs, like this one at the University of Massachusetts, for doctors who want to better understand why patients who smoke are not being treated more aggressively especially given the smoking cessation tools they now have available. Well, I'm one year out of medical school, and I wasn't adequately taught. There was no specific course on smoking, um, how to stop people from smoking, how to counsel people about smoking. You learn it piecemeal through your education. I think the older physician has had to almost relearn uh, what was originally not an issue in the office to recognize today it's, a, it's it, the evidence is so overwhelming and it's a major issue. Economically, right now, the physician who counsels someone for smoking cessation is not reimbursed for that. Mm -hmm. So that take time takes time away from what the patient came there for. They're there for diabetes, and here you are talking about their smoking. Both are important. Both should be reimbursed, I think, and time should be allowed to do it right. Every chronic, uncurable disease, Blue Shield, Blue Cross will pay for. Yeah. But anything that's preventable, or any Crazy. screening you do, or anything that even right. smells of screening, they won't pay for. That's so right. what message does that give you? It gives, you know, we are undervaluing good health, good health and, prevention. Right, and prevention. The people I really haven't had good luck with are the younger people. Uh -huh. And it seems like I'd be able to relate to them being a younger physician, but they just don't see the problems yet. And it's very hard to tell them 20 years down the road they're going to get into problems because right now they're fine and they think they're going to live forever. Sometimes I feel like someone like Michael Jackson might be a much better seller of quitting smoking than me. And I have a hard time struggling with that sometimes. I feel like, you know, why am I doing this? And who's helping me do this? If physicians were to devote as little as two minutes to seriously counseling patients on quitting smoking, according to a study in England, one out of 20 patients who wouldn't have quit otherwise will quit as a result of that counseling. Think what the physician sees though. The physician sees 19 out of those 20 patients coming back the next year still smoking. So the physician figures this was a failure. I didn't accomplish anything. The irony in this is that the, getting that one person to quit smoking out of the 20 is accomplishing more in terms of contributing to health, to longer life and less illness than just about anything else the medical community can do.